Yo, yo, yo! What's up, everyone? Surreal Canine here with more Disgaea Dimension 2. In the last episode, we did the GeoCube, or not the GeoCube tutorial. We are back to plain old Geo Symbols. And uh, we unlocked the Dark Assembly finally, which allowed us to make a whole bunch of generic units. So let's check out our character roster. You can see that we have renamed Sean to Pingu. This name, uh, along with our two new generic units, were all proposed by Animus01 from the Pure ZC community. He's a good friend, and he really likes this guy, so I was happy to get his input. As you can see, we've also switched Laharl to the uh, Axe Weapon class, because Rosa here is taking up swords. We also have I don't know here, uh, as for their abilities. You can see that uh, we've given I don't know no miss counter and Rosa extra move. As for Pingu, he now has Bomb Conversion, which uh, does double damage, but has smaller range when thrown. As for our Apprenticeships, you can see that Laharl is Flan's Apprentice, so he can learn Heal. Flan is Eric's Apprentice, so he can learn Wind. Eric is Laharl's Apprentice, for no particular reason. I don't know is Etna's apprentice, also for no particular reason. And Flan is Rose, and Rosa is Flan's apprentice, for no particular reason. But hey, we might as well raise the stats of our main characters while we're here, right? Uh, Pingu, I guess you, could, I guess uh, Home Run can be your apprentice for now. And Pingu can be Etna's apprentice, again, for no particular reason. And Etna can be Eric's apprentice, for no particular reason. <laughs> that works. Everybody has a master and an apprentice. So, let's get on with the story. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention. If you have two rare pieces of equipment on a character, both of them will get a stat boost. Uh, the stat boost increases as you equip more rare or legendary items on a character. Item World is currently being remodeled, so uh, we can't see the other benefit of having rare and legendary equipment. But that is fine. Nameless Wilderness. Let's go. Hold on a second. I don't remember erecting a statue here. I told the Prinny Squad to set them up all over the place. Edna! Laharl! Look! Oh, man! That rubble used to be your statue, right? I guess he's still one step ahead of us. Oh, dear. Damn! So he's gonna rid the netherworld of my statues by destroying them? How dare he! How would you recommend he rid the netherworld of your statues then, Laharl? Well, that's what I do. You can't really take them home or anything. They just be garbage on the floor. <laughs> I gotta have balls to say that while I'm standing right here. Edna, stop! You shouldn't say things like that. Even though it is true. <laughs> Not helping, Flan. That goes for you too. Nobody respects Laharl. I guess he sensed we were chasing after him. He left us some low-class demons as a souvenir. He's taking the bee too outside lightly. my window again. I'll slash them all away. Okay, hold on. 
That Cat Saber has a pretty annoying ability. Special properties that every character has. I have gone over uh, some of ours already. Here is our formal introduction to them. Yours increases stats per unit defeated. Cat Sabers take less damage from certain types of enemies. Check their status or something. It should be under the abilities section. Brown Cat Sabers have cute aura, which decreases damage taken from female units. Gray Cat Sabers have softening auras, which decrease damage taken from monsters. And Purple Mothmen have Poison Accelerator, which uh, increases poison damage dealt to our units. Kind of dangerous, really. Let's see if any of our guys have anything to say. <laughs> Overlord always finishes their battles. But, I think it's time we gave our uh, generic units a, some time to shine. I'm gonna do it. Here's Wind. It's a G-Class spell. Which is uh, even weaker than F-Class, really. Hmm, that's not very much damage. Let's see if we can uh, get Eric behind. No? Well, we can at least do a side attack. Yeah, that'll kill, assuming it hits. It was a Nick. Nicks happen when uh, the enemy has speed uh, roughly equal to your hit, or even greater. As you can see, uh, these guys have very high speed. So, unfortunately for Eric, he's not going to help us very much. Wanna die, dude? Wanna die, dude? Prinnies count as male units, so, uh, that gives us a good chance of getting an attack in against Salty Noodles and having it do significant damage. Wanna die, dude? Let's get Home Run out here, even though he hasn't, uh, been renamed yet. Eat it! Cool. Very cool. Ooh, we got a treasure chest for our troubles. Okay, and uh, Rosa can move again. She didn't get a complete extra turn, just another move, which is uh, a little sad, but what you gonna do? It's not Gale Force. <laughs> Alright, let's get Flan out here and have her use her wind spell to open this chest. Rip scrapbook. Cool. The more you practice with your uh, apprentice's spell. Is it apprentice or master? The more you practice with your master's spells, uh, the more uh, special EXP you'll get. When your special skill reaches level 1, you learn it permanently. Funny how you say that before even being attacked. I ain't complaining though. Whoops, no. I'll just uh, keep Laharo moving. We want him to learn that heal spell. Rosa, you get up there and help Laharo. Ooh, this one is weak against wind, but, uh, he's got such high res that I'm not sure it matters. Let's 
So let's change our tactics a little. Rosa, lift Flan up in the air. Let's see, Pingu, you can help Etna with this one. Except Etna's probably gonna knock it out in one hit because Etna's awesome like that. Okay, Eric level up, cool. Get everybody stacked up in a tower. I'm doing this. That includes you, Etna. Oh dear. Is this going to be the end for Etna? I guess not. And she even gets a ca she gets two counterattacks out of it, which uh, yeah, kind of screwed over my strategy a little bit. <laughs> Cat Saber is now creatable. Cool. The Demon Dojo is now open for use. You can do the basic physical and mental training as well as, well, you'll get a wider variety of options over time. You should try it out. It's just past the shops. Let's heal. Can we get a new prize? Doesn't look like it. And go check out the dojo. You can train your allies. So, we can see that uh, we can raise our uh, stat growths here. This is good for us. Alright, Super Treadmill is uh, definitely for I don't know. Let's see. Flan, you get Res. Eric, you get Int. Puncture Training... I guess Etna. Okay. I guess that works for now. It's uh, not the ideal spread, but we want to have these uh, areas occupied at all time to c times because the more guys you have in them, uh, the faster they level up. To level up your facilities, just raise uh, the, uh, or just fight some battles. Yeah, you can see our guys are hard at work here. Or at least Home Run is. Please don't trip, you'll fall in lava. <laughs> Pingu is reading. Staring down the chalkboard, solving away. And if Etna and Flan were not in my party, you would be able to see them training too. Uh, they are perfectly content to just follow me around forever. Alright. Now then. We're only at 14 minutes, so uh, let's head back to Battle Basics. And see if we can't uh, pick up these some of these spells permanently.
As well as get our other characters some uh, much needed levels. Eat it. Do it. Say. So, what I wanted to say about uh about our units here. Let's get Etna up on top, followed by I guess home run. Actually, no. Home run can wait. Pingu, get up here. Stacked up units can do something called tower attacks. When you kill an enemy, the range of the tower attack increases with the size of the tower. As you can see, they have huge damage potential. Maharl has learned heal. Good to know. When you kill an enemy with a tower attack, everybody gets EXP. They get full the full EXP of the kill. So, uh, definitely put your towers to use if you think your guys are underleveled a little bit. Flan got that kill, and she has permanently learned wind. Very cool. Alright, I think it is time to move on to the character demo. See you guys next time. Our unit of the day is the Prinny. Here I go, dude! Prinnies, the lowest class of the netherworld, destined to explode if thrown. And as you can see, they are, uh mainly physical monsters. Uh, they've got pretty good stats all around, seems like. Now, let's show off their uh, different abilities. Such a hassle, dude. Cross bomb Cross Bomber deals damage in straight lines of five panels equal to 50% of remaining HP. Etna, please demonstrate. Very Bomberman. Oops. Bomb Conversion deals damage with a range of one equal to 100% of remaining HP. So it's a bit of a stronger bomb than the other printies. This is what I have on Pingu. Fly away. That was not quite enough to kill. And the default for printies, Explosive Body, deals damage with a range of 2 equal to 50% of remaining HP. It can't quite reach the Mothman, so you're spared for this turn, Prinny. Instead, I'm going to show off your, uh... Yeah, I guess not. Oh, okay. That worked, I guess. get Will out here and show off his unique skills. First up, Pretty Blizzard. It's apparently a water type. E level attack. Snoop Dogg Snow Cone Machete. I'm scared. Pretty Dance. Inflicts uh, paralysis and sleep. Leave it to me, dude. Super strong, dude. You okay, dude? What can do, dude? Bonk. Oh, 
thousand printies. <laughs> Can we really be the hero? <laughs> sad, Prinny is sad. Here I go, dude. Code Prinny, Star Element, Operation Prinny is go. I gotta get closer. Super Volcano, dude! Surprisingly, it didn't kill him. Alright, let's mount up. While you are mounted, the uh, humanoid unit uses the attack, uses all the attacks. You can use any magic skills equipped to the monster, but you can't use your uh, humanoid's unique skills. All right. Wait, why is Bomber Dude so strong? Huh. Anyway. This is the Prinny's mount skill. This has crashed the game at least once for me. I don't know why. So yeah, a pretty strong attack there. And that is all about printies. See you guys next time.